Hi there. Let me give you a scenario. You just got a new phone for your friend and family, or somebody in your family just got a new phone, and they came to you and they asked you, what can I do to make my device work best? What applications can I use to be able to enjoy my device even more? Of course, we're talking Android device, so let's check out this new application I'm reviewing for you today that will help you with this great way. Samantha posted an article on the XDA portal referencing an app called List My Apps, coincidentally, and this was put together by XDA forum member OnyxBits. It's an application that simply does what it says. It lists the applications that you have installed on your device. It provides you four different types of output, plain text, HTML, BB code, or markdown list. And then if you open up the thread, the developer gives us a couple of screenshots of what the application actually looks like. Uh, it's pretty simple as far as what it does, but the benefit out of this application we'll get into when we get our hand, uh, do our hands on the device. Okay, download and install the application from either the Google Play Store or the Thread, and we'll be able to install it on the device. Once you have that installed, you'll get to this icon, the List My Apps. The interface is really, really simple, very basic. I've already pre-selected a few applications of some of the things that I would like to share. But the reason really why this, this application is simple and amazing at the same time is I've had this question asked many, many times. And you guys should know this, obviously, as the tech people in your, uh, in your own perspective, you know, region or group circle of people. And you, what you do is you'll always get, so what's that favorite app? What's the good app to have for this? What is it? There's all the good things to do with this device, especially if you have an iOS user that just came on, or if you have a, a user that's just coming on from Windows phone or anything like that, and they want to get that full experience of Android. And the main reason why this application is so good is it's easy, it's simple. When you first turn it on, it scans and then definitely gives you the list of all the applications that you have. As far as I know, it does not list system apps, so overall only installed apps, things that you've installed to your device. The options as far as what you have, you have the ability of selecting all, deselecting all, and I've already went to the custom option. The other thing is you're able to add annotations, and this is just custom annotations to different things in the application. An example would be 8-track, I just think this is, it just has the best music on it, so I just noted that there, and then it'll be in part of my transfer out that I provide to my friend. The other thing that we have the ability to do here is the ability to edit our templates. So these are the five, uh, the five templates that we have, plain text, HTML, BB code list, markdown list, and then the market URL. This, this is very helpful because it helps us to be able to make it simple for them to be able to just send it out. And of course, you can add different templates if you'd like. Uh, but overall, the developer gives us the ability to use this. Main other reason is that they, whenever you add to the list, it comes up into this version. And what I've chosen to do is in all my exports that I do, I want to include the Play Store link. And I'll show you why when I open up the email. Overall, when I, I want to just generally do an HTML, I think I need to be able to share my 8-track to my friend that just got this new phone, need to be able to enjoy his music. You need Flash to be able to support some of that content online. Amazon apps, uh, the Amazon store is very nice, the MP3 store. I don't think app setting he is needed at this point, so I'm going to skip that. He doesn't have root yet, but we'll get to that later. Uh, app store here, again, this is the Amazon app store, and then Asphalt 8 is a great application. Once I'm done, I'm either, I'm able to either copy it to the clipboard or I'm able to also share it within all my sharing options on my device. I went ahead and emailed it to myself. Let's go ahead and go into my email. The email comes in pretty simple, pretty straight. This is the HTML code. Again, you can customize how the code is setting, uh, but essentially it gives you the link to the Play Store, the, the actual item. So this is a track, the ability to download Flash. Now, that link won't work for the Note 3 because the Note 3 has 4.3 installed on it and it's officially not supporting Flash, but you can definitely download it um, uh, from a different site and I'll, you know, you can definitely check XTA for that. And then it goes through the list. Asphalt later, of course, is included. And if you click the link, it gives you the option to go ahead and open it up into the Google Play Store. And voila, very simple, very easy. If I didn't have it, I would be able to install it and enjoy it. Okay, so downloading the application is not that hard. Look at the link in the description or look at the uh, Google Play Store link and you'll be able to download it and use it. It's very simple, very easy. And you guys saw in the walkthrough, it's not that hard to be able to actually even understand how to use it. Overall, I find the HTML uh, output to be the best, specifically if you're sharing with people that are not going to be embedding this into either a forum or going to Reddit. Some of the other formats in there are specific to these specific forms so that it is more compatible. But other than that, form, uh, the HTML gives you the ability to embed the link and that it opens up into your device as you saw it when I opened it in the email. In my mind, I find this in the need for this in so many different occasions that I have friends and family that ask me, well, what apps do you use for this and this and this and this? And I end up having to either say, well, download this and they'll forget about it and it'll never go about and then they'll come back and either we'll ask the same question again 
or uh, they probably just didn't spell it correctly and then there's more of a long process. Saving this list, sending it to them is very simple, it's very easy, and then they'll have a record of it. Also, second scenario that this would work great for you is if you mod or put a lot of different ROMs on your device and or you change devices a lot and you don't want to be able to basically kind of keep a track list or take pictures of your uh, app tray, I think this is very simple and easy. You just look at the list and you click on the apps that you want to install. It'll open up the Google Play Store, download, install, and then you're done. It's very nice, very functional. Of course, if you have root, this is a different thing. We're not even getting into that. We're talking about people that just got their phones. It's not rooted. It doesn't have a stock. It doesn't have a custom recovery. It's so running stock everything. It's an Android device and it will definitely work for them. Um, overall, I find this very useful for me because then I can also keep a backup list of what are the applications that I have installed in case something does happen and I need to be able to install things. I like it. It's simple. It's quick. Hope you guys get a chance to check this out. And this holiday season, I'm almost 100% sure you guys will have an opportunity to use this to share with somebody else. Like and subscribe to this channel and like and subscribe to my channel. And be a lookout. I'm putting out a review for a Lapau Use Tone uh, power bank, a 12,000 milliamp power bank uh, coming out today or tomorrow, as well as the details for the giveaway for the Bluetooth speaker from uh, the video that I put out earlier this week. See you guys next Tuesday.